Hare Krishna. So here's a question about how Gita mentions a person should leave the body or how a person should die. So it says that, you know, uh, the person writes here that uh, in Gita it's mentioned that we the best time to die where one does not take birth again is during Shukla Paksha, which is known as the waxing uh, period of the month, right, the moon. Uttarayan, which is the six months that the, no the sun moves in the northern hemisphere, daytime, so then question is, death is not in our hands. How can we determine this? Please give us guidance. So basically the question is asking about the 8th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, which is called Attaining the Supreme or Akshar Brahma Yoga, how to achieve that Supreme Brahman. So if you look at this chapter, which has 28 verses, okay, the first 13 verses speak about yoga, remembering Krishna, a time of death, how it's so important to remember God, Right? And if you remember God, then one goes to God. It mentions all the yoga processes and all. But text 14 to 16, 14, 15, 16, Krishna specifically mentions to Arjuna that the easiest path to remember me is by bhakti. Ananya cheta satatam. Right? And if one who remembers me with the easy path, they do not get uh, birth again. Punar janma na abnuvanti. And therefore, everyone else has to take birth. A Brahma, Bhuvana, Loka. Everyone has to take birth. And then later, verses 17 to 22, Krishna explains about this material world and spiritual world. There are two places. Material world is a place of return. Spiritual world is a place of no return. And then he explains that, you know, unless a person is devotional, text 22, then he can actually, Bhaktya uh, labhyas to ananyaya. Unless one has unalloyed devotion, devotional service, then he goes to that place where there is no return. So then this section comes which the question is asking, which is actually text 24, 25, 26. Right? So here, what Krishna is mentioning here, that if a person leaves the body in Uttarayan, in uh, the light, in the day, right, in the presence of the fire god, they don't come back. This is actually for yogis, yogis or jnanis, right? This is those who want mukti just escape from this world so yes ordinary people we cannot control our death but yogis they have something called icha marana siddhi where they can desire when to leave their body so these is this is the process mentioned for yogis who are doing so much tapasya that they can control when to leave the body for rest of us we don't have any control and devotee does not want a devotee knows whether today, tomorrow, in Uttrayan or Dakshayan or light or darkness, if he leaves his body, he'll always go to Krishna. Because the most important is the consciousness that is absorbed in Krishna. Just like verse 14, 8.14 says, Ananya cheta satatam yomam smarati nityasa. One who's always nitya, remembering Krishna. Tasyaham sulabha partha. I become very easily obtained to him. Nitya yuktasya yogina. And then Krishna again ends the chapter by saying, Vedeshu, Yagyeshu, Tapasyu, Chaiva. Whatever you do, Vedas, you're reading, Yagyas, you're performing, Tapasya, you're doing, Danesu, Yat Punya Falam Pradishtam. If you do any charity, whatever it is, Atyeti Tat Sarvam, bigger, higher, better than all this, Idam Viditva, that you should know, is Yogi Param Sthanam, is that devotee, Upaiti Chadyam, who is fixed in devotional service. He is better than all this. So therefore, being Krishna conscious is the biggest, bhakti is the greatest saving grace. It is better than jnana, karma, yoga. Because bhakti means one is always thinking about Krishna, nitya saha. Therefore, a devotee need not worry how or when he is going to leave the body because his destination is fixed, which is Krishna's supreme abode.